Yo, Elliot, I have a question about something you said in your video, Andrew Tate is dead wrong. You said all I require from a woman if is if she's going to be my wife with sex is don't deny me. Can you elaborate on what that what it means by that? So when it comes to your the woman who becomes your wife, you give conjugal rights to one another. This is the contract of marriage. Marriage is a contract in that way where we in Robert Bly's words we hand each other each other's leash of our nethermost beast. And so one of the aspects of a man's nethermost beast is his craving for sex in a different way than a woman. Not to say that they don't crave, but it's a different way than a man. And a man, if he's not given focus, meaning a place where he can place that urge in one woman, he'll go all over the place. And so a part of the responsibility of the woman in her wifely role is to give that man that place to put his energy. I'm pouring myself into you. And as a man, when you choose a woman to be your wife, you're giving up. Look, I know the world is so confused, but it's the men that have the potential. A woman's potential is inside her. A woman's potential is inside her. The potential that she has is not a worldly potential. It's a biological potential. It's the potential to make a baby on the inside. That's, that's, that's biological. That's natural. That's divine law. That's the way it is. That's where her, a woman's potential isn't out there. It's in here. But don't tell that to the feminist. A man's potential is out there. We're the ones that go. Now today it's the women, but it's men that go and spread. We build, we create, we, our potential is out there. When you choose a woman to focus your procreative attention, you eliminate all those options. You eliminate all that potential. And so in a way, you are saying that I am sacrificing all my potential as a man for the creation of other things I could create out there, maybe with other women, or with maybe with other with art, with business, with things. I'm taking my biological procreative power and I'm I contract it through you. And we're gonna um, we're gonna build a family. If that woman denies you your right to Pour your creative energy, your sexual energy in to her through sex. It's as bad as adultery. She breaks her contract with you. So in context to the conversation we were having before, uh, you know, based on my video, you say all I require from a woman is that she's going with my wife is that she's not going to deny me. It means that it's a very basic thing. I don't need her to be a porn star. You understand? I don't need her to do double monkey backflips like Coach Greg says. I don't need her to do because I don't watch porn. So I don't need her to, to do the whole porn act. I don't know what it is because the whole conversation was like, oh, you have to test a woman's sex before you, you marry her. To me, that's dumb. What do you, what, what, what kind of sex are you? First of all, the, man, the burden of performance is on the man. What is a woman going to do that's going to make sex better beyond being engaged? I just need to be engaged. I just, and it's up to us too, right? Unless a woman is completely cold and you got to figure that out soon. When she's completely cold, you can also warm her up if you are a warm man. You know how to compel. If you're a compelling man, you can make, the compelling man can make the coldest woman wet. So the whole thing about these guys wanting, to, this, trying to find a woman based on sex is just based on their imagination and the porn images that are in their head. I want her to be, I don't know what it is because I don't watch porn and I have amazing, normal sex with my wife. I don't know. You guys want to put it in all kind of different holes and you, I, I don't know. We play, do you play different roles or do you need her to put on some elaborate act or do you need her to be real kinky and nasty or I don't know what it is that these guys want. 
I just want a woman that submits to my approach. Hey, baby, I got something to give you. I'm giving you something tonight. You better be ready. And when she goes, <laughs> well, I'll be ready. Or she goes, take me now. Or she plays a little game, but then takes her clothes off. Now we're talking. But if she start going, no, I'm tired. I can't. I don't want to. Well, then that's a problem. It's usually your man's fault too anyway, because he doesn't know how to keep a woman attracted. But, and she doesn't respect him. That's really what it is. There's no attraction. If she's not attracted to you because she doesn't respect you. You're like a girlfriend to him, to her. Right? So that's why I say that's all I require. I don't, I don't, I don't need uh, sex capades. I don't need pornography in my bedroom. Right? So I don't, I wish I knew what it was that these guys are really looking for with all their promiscuity, but really what they're doing is they're damaging their own pair bonding ability. People like to talk about how women have this pair bonding problem when they sleep around with a lot of men, which is valid. But I see the same thing with men. Men have more prob have problems pair bonding when they sleep with a lot of women. Why? Because just like the women, they're comparing. They're comparing what they got with all these other girls. And a lot of guys are so dumb that they marry the girl that they have hot pornography sex with that's a terrible woman, a terrible wife, terrible mother. This is a bad attitude woman. But, oh, the sex is so amazing. You're an idiot for blowing your load. You, that's, you're going to destroy your life. You're going to choose a woman based on how she makes you feel when you blow your load. That's real low. That's base. That's not based. That's base, like animal. So anyway, that's my... That's my issue on that. I don't understand how these people, I don't know. I don't understand people. People are weird to me. I've been having sex with the same woman for, I, I will be married 20 years, and we were dating for 10 years before that, 30 years. 30 years, it never grows old. <laughs> it never grows old. If I'm having sexual fantasies in my mind, a lot of times, 90% of the times, in fact, all of the time is my wife. I don't fantasize about other women. I'm the weird one. I get it. When I was in high school and I was a masturbator, I would masturbate to my girlfriend. All right, I'm giving you guys a little too much, <laughs> right? Because I, I don't know. I'm. I got what I, I got. I get what I need, and I'm attracted to her, and it's a lot of fun. You guys that get bored. I heard somebody say this before. Every time that you see a beautiful woman, there's a man that's tired of effing her. I'm like, well, what the hell's wrong with that guy? What's wrong with him? He doesn't know how to. Uh, he doesn't know how to maintain attraction in his relationship. You bored? You bored because you boring. You bored because you're a boring guy. I'm sure she's bored too. So anyway, that's my little rant on that, dude. <laughs>